Hi and welcome to my mod guide to Skyrim. Uh, I made a post yesterday on Reddit, uh, on the Skyrim board I believe, uh, where I described some of the mods I'm using and how I've created a survival edition if you will. I'm just going to go through some of the mods now, I, I won't be able to show too much because uh, there's a lot of them and because you can't really show it because they're very dependent on weather, uh, where you are and so forth. Uh, what we can hear here <laughs> is actually one of the mods I use called sound propagation. Uh, it makes things louder so blacksmiths are louder, water is louder. Something? Uh, no I don't need anything. But I really like it because water is loud. Uh, where I live I go mountain climbing a lot and if you go past a river or a waterfall it's loud. Uh, so this is much more realistic. And same goes for blacksmiths. It's supposed to be loud. Uh, while we're talking about sounds, you can also hear chatter. You can hear people talking in the background. Be quiet. It's hard to hear out here. I'll move up a bit. But now you can hear it. And this is the sounds of Skyrim mod which adds sounds to different places. It adds to cities, dungeons and the wilderness. So it can be chatter. Uh, in dungeons you can hear the dragur clanking chains and making ghastly noises which adds a lot to dungeons. Uh, it makes it creepier. So the next mod I want to talk about is Frostfall. Uh, Frostfall is quite well known. Uh, it is an amazing mod. I was skeptical at first, I thought it would be very intrusive and I would detract from the game, but it doesn't. It adds a lot. Uh, what Frostfall does, if we go into settings, it adds hypothermia, camping and survival. And what this means is, if you're out in snow and it's cold, you will start to freeze and eventually die. Uh, so you have to make sure you suit up. Or take shelter in a tent, make a campfire. Uh, if we go into my inventory, I have some... Uh, where are they? There you go. I have a cloak. These help prevent you from getting cold. Yeah, it prevents exposure and it prevents from getting wet. Because if you're wet, like if you swim through a river and get wet, you freeze much, much quicker. So it's important that you have proper clothes. This cloak I am not 100% certain, but I think... We killed the dragon once, we can do it again. With your help, of course. <laughs> well, you won't do it by yourself. But I think this cloak is from... Um, Winter is Coming. It could also be from Cloaks of Skyrim. I have both installed, so I've, I haven't... I'm the commander of the guard here in White Rock. Yes, stop telling me who you are, go away. You tried mercenary work? Oh. It might suit you. Let me have some peace. But I have both... Uh, Winter is Coming and Cloaks of Skyrim installed. Uh, I've always had them together. They work brilliantly with Frostfall. Uh, there's no... They're perfectly compatible. Uh, so get both if you're going to get any cloaks at all. And cloaks look amazing. Uh, unfortunately none of the guards have any cloaks on right now. But they wear cloaks too. Yeah, you can, in the distance there you can see him have one. So cloaks, amazing. Uh, another thing Frostfall does, it gives you some survival skills. You can build a campfire, harvest wood to make your fire burn. You can put up a tent. You can also craft some items, which I'm going to do. Here you have a walking stick, uh, which improves your uh, movement speed, which is actually quite nice, because if you have Frostfall on hardcore, you can't fast travel, which I've got right now. So I have to walk wherever I go. I'm going to make one of these. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is these things here. I might have seen them before. They're birds. Uh, they're added by the Birds of Skyrim mod, uh, which also works together with a mod called Skybirds. Uh, what Birds of Skyrim does, it adds a whole bunch more birds. It adds them to cities where you have pigeons. Uh, there's much more birds flying out. Uh, you can often see eagles and hawks. Uh, and Skybirds also allows these birds to perch on trees. So you can walk through a forest and hear the birds singing in the trees and sitting on the branches, which is 
actually quite nice. I mean, it doesn't sound much, but it really adds. The next thing I want to talk about is economics of Skyrim. Uh, if we go into our items here, we have something called Econ Options. And this is where I think is amazing. You have something called Regions. And what this does, it means that each region has its own set of options and um, goods they sell. So right now I'm in Whiterun, uh, which is a very central location in Skyrim, so it's a lot of trade going on here. So it has pretty much everything for a reasonable price. But if I go, say, to, um, I don't know, Solitude, I can't get some of the stuff I can get in Markarth. It, you just can't, because it's not in the general area. So they have to import it, which makes it expensive. And this really adds, I think this is one of the most overlooked mods. Uh, I really suggest you check it out. It is absolutely amazing. You can also change the amount of gold each uh, merchant has, they all start with more gold, which, let's face it, 500 gold for a merchant does not work. So adding extra gold is really good. Um, you can change the regional values so that they, they, they don't have the region stuff on at all, uh, but I don't see why you would disable it, because it's amazing. Uh, and they also increase the bar difficulty, so stuff is much more expensive and you don't get as much money, uh, which makes it really hard as a mage, because mage books cost over a thousand gold and that's very expensive now. Uh, the next mod I want to talk about is uh, Total Realism. Uh, this means that you need to eat, drink and sleep. Uh, so when you walk around you get hungry and you have to go... There you go, you feel hungry. Uh, well timed. That means I have to go eat something. I don't think I have any food. Yeah, all I have is raw food. And I can show you what happens if we eat raw food. She does not like raw food. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any food with me. Uh, but you also need to hydrate so you get water. Uh, these bottles you can fill in rivers and fresh water. You can also drink alcohol, but then you become drunk. And if you get too drunk, it's hard to walk around because. You just fall over and it's not fun. Uh, the next mod which I want to talk about is uh, Climates of Tamriel, which we can't see much of here. Um, it's a bright sunny day, but it adds plenty of weather patterns like um, um, rain, thunderstorms, blizzards, uh, even more so than in vanilla. Uh, and it really works well with Frostfall because it allows you to get a little wet, more wet, a uh, little cold, more cold. And it just really adds to the whole thing. And another thing Climates of Tamriel does, it makes nights darker and caves much darker. And this... Shop at the market. I'm sure we've got something you need. Yep, go away. Uh, and having darker dungeons I think is really, really nice. Because it really adds to the realism. Because a dungeon would not be bright, it would be dark. I don't have on the hardest, darkest setting because it hurts my eyes. Uh, but you could do that if that's what you wanted to do. Yeah. Also to combat this, I've got another mod called uh, Wearable Lanterns. If we go in here, you can see Travel Lantern. It's a small lantern. Hmm. You can't see it under our cloak. There you go. A small lantern you fasten to your hip. You can move this around so it fits to different spots. But it adds to the lights. Uh, so you don't have to use one hand for your torch all the time. Uh, also has some settings here. And you can change the brightness of this uh, light. You can turn light oil burning on and off, which is really interesting because you have to have oil with you uh, to supply your lantern. And if you run out of oil, then no lights. You also have something called dimming, which means that the less oil there is in, um, the dimmer the light becomes. Uh, I tried using this in the last dungeon I was in and I didn't like it because once you get about halfway through your um, your oil and that's in your lantern it just becomes too dark to do anything so I abandoned it. I no. Uh, we also have something called touch bug lanterns which uh, is added by a bond called 101 bugs or 101 bugs and this adds touch bugs to the game that you can put in these lanterns and they give off a red light. Uh, I've not tried this yet, 
I don't know if the touch bugs last forever, if they dim. Um, but I should be alright if I can find one. Now, the last mod I want to talk about is Bandolier. You can see there on my hip, I have some vials of potions. And I also have a little pouch here. Uh, these just add more uh, carry weight to you, so you can carry more. Uh, Again, this is something I was afraid might break the immersion a little bit, but they look really good. I mean, come on, I'm a mage. I have a little pouch for my spells. And that looks amazing. Uh, so get it. I absolutely love Bandolier. Uh, these are just some of the mods I use. There's plenty, plenty more. I've got something called Unique Region Names, Border Sense. I have footsteps that makes you have make footsteps in the snow. Uh, get snowy, which means that snow sticks on you when it snows outside, so you get white. Uh, I got enhanced lights and effects. Uh, I think it adds some smoke to lights. I'm a bit unsure what's vanilla smoke and what's smoke from the mod. Um, but uh, it's a really good mod, I've used it for ages. I also got player head tracking, if we run past someone here. You can see my head turn no towards them. Which is really subtle, but really, really good. Uh, and it just tons and tons of mods. Uh, I will be making more videos to show off these mods. Uh, I'll be making a Let's Play of Skyrim. A uh, bit unsure exactly when I'm going to start full time with it. Uh, it'll be a bit on and off right now because I'm in the middle of my exams. But there will be more. Uh, I'll also post a list of all the mods I use in the description of this video. Uh, and if you like this, please like and subscribe uh, and maybe I can do some more pure mod videos who knows uh, only time will show what you happens. get to the cloud district very often oh, what am I saying of course you don't arrogant bastard <laughs>